All right, YouTube, this is Maker Steve in the workshop, and I know I haven't followed up in a while because I've been doing some work, but I'm a little frustrated, and I'm going to share a problem with you. Uh, I go through a lot of filament, probably more than most people. My printers are going 24-7. I've got a pile of them right here that just crank away all the time. Over yonder, I've got a pile. But I've ran into a problem since... COVID came out. Uh, I think we all saw the filament shortage. We saw the prices of the filament go up uh, 15 to 20%. And, uh, you know, it, it, it got a little scarcer. You couldn't get uh, filament in a timely manner for sure. So uh, now I'm at this point where I am receiving rolls of filament for ver from various vendors that are they're, they're crap. They're junk. Uh, I have a pile of filament here that I can't finish the rolls if I don't go put them inside my dehydrator. And then when I do, they might work and they might not. So 3D Solution Tech has been my go-to for filament for quite a long time. It's been inexpensive. It prints well. Uh, I can buy the rolls for 18 bucks um, pre-COVID, and I would burn through rolls. I'd buy probably 40 rolls in a month. Now, it's junk. The Kali. It was a go-to for me for a while. It's junk. Same thing. I've got to go dehydrate all these rolls of filament and hope that I finish my, my project. So I'm going to show you what's going on down here. I've got two printers loaded with brand new 3D Solutech printer filament. Brand new. Well, that one's not brand new. I burned that one up. But it's the same crap over and over again. The, uh, these nozzles were just replaced. I hardly ever have to replace a nozzle. Once I get a printer tuned, they just go and go. Eventually, they will jam. But this is a brand new roll of filament. I just put the nozzle on there. And it it's plugged up in the printer right now. Uh, with all of these printers, I've had a similar issue. That's one that was rocking some Solutech that I just pulled and tried to move to another printer. Uh, this printer over here, same, same thing. That, that roll is jammed up in there. I'm going to have to replace the nozzle. The only thing that is working consistently for me at this point in time where I don't have an issue when I pull a roll out and I can just start printing is Hatchbox PLA. It's, it's the only one. You can see it right there. Hatchbox rocks. Hatchbox price went up a couple of bucks. Uh, I've got some phenomenal results from their gray. Like, it's gorgeous. Uh, I don't know why I haven't been buying this for a long time. Uh, their black is fantastic. I haven't really used a lot of their white, but I can definitely testify their cool gray and their um, real silver or whatever whatever it is. Cool gray, true silver are fantastic. This stack of PLA sitting right here, Solutec brand. There's probably some Decali stuff dumped up in there. It's junk, and I'm frustrated. And you email them, you get no response. Uh, your only choice with Amazon is to ship the product back. But if you've done like most people and recycled the boxes, you don't have them anymore. So, uh, yeah, I vented. I got it out of my system. I'm going to clean up my stuff. I'm going to quit buying Decali. I'm going to quit buying... Uh, 3D Solutech, and uh, I'm going to move on to something else. There you have it. This is Maker Steve signing off. Thanks.